Did you start keto and find that your LDL level rose? Don't worry, you're fine. Nothing unhealthy is afoot. Welcome back to the Busy Keto Life channel where I put science back into nutrition so you have all the tools you need to make the right decisions for your own health and succeed in all your keto goals. Today I'm going to explain why higher LDL levels in ketosis is to be expected and nothing to worry about. So you started keto and your first blood test showed your LDL level had jumped significantly. Congratulations! That's a key sign you're doing keto correctly and your body is in ketosis. Before I get rolling on why high LDL is fine and not remotely unhealthy when you're in ketosis, I want to ask you to share this video. People often comment that the information in these Busy Keto Life videos is so important, so factual, that it's hard to understand why there aren't more views. And that's simple. If you come to this page, watch the videos, dig the quality and factual nature of the content, and then just go about your day, the video just sits here. There's a reason it's called social media. It requires you to play a role. And that role is sharing these videos. Don't think for a moment that the people you interact with on social media aren't interested. When I started keto, I had no idea whether people would be interested in it. Nevertheless, I posted my progress on my personal Facebook page just from those posts about my personal journey without any of the facts you get in these videos, hundreds of people decided to give keto a try. In other words, throw these Busy Keto Life videos on your Facebook page, your YouTube channel, or your Twitter feed. You will be providing a valuable service to others. And while we're at it, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button on the video and subscribe to the channel. Based on YouTube's algorithms, you can help more people see these videos just by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for helping out. Now, on to the subject at hand. LDL, low density lipoprotein. Note that it's a protein, not cholesterol, as is frequently mis misunderstood thanks to doctors continually and inaccurately referring to LDL as cholesterol. Each LDL particle is a combination of roughly 90 proteins along with cholesterol, triglycerides, and phospholipids. The quantity or percentage of cholesterol, triglycerides, and phospholipids vary considerably from particle to particle. What do LDL particles do? They deliver fat molecules, also known as lipids, to the cells. That's it. That is their sole purpose in life. Now that we know what LDL particles do, are there specific kinds of fat molecules LDL particles deliver? You bet. Unsurprisingly, LDL particles deliver the cholesterol, triglycerides, and phospholipids that comprise the particle. While the proteins are a big part of the LDL particle, LDL does not deliver its protein to the cells. The protein in the LDL particle is there to control the delivery process of the cholesterol, triglycerides, and phospholipids to the cell. If we use the analogy of an LDL particle being a bus, the proteins are the bus driver, and the cholesterol, triglycerides, and phospholipids are passengers heading to their destination. You've all heard of cholesterol and triglycerides but you may not have heard of phospholipids. Phospholipids are the major component in all cell membranes and provide fluidity, flexibility, to the cells as well as mechanical strength. If it wasn't for phospholipids, you wouldn't be able to move because all 100 trillion cells in your body would have no flexibility. Cholesterol is so important and so misunderstood thanks to Big Med and Big Pharma, it deserves its own video, which I'll be putting out shortly. In this video, I want to stay focused on just one thing, how being in ketosis affects your LDL level. Let's start with what you've all heard. LDL is bad cholesterol. Put that nonsense out of your mind. First, as we've already discussed, LDL particles are not cholesterol. They simply contain cholesterol for the purpose of delivering it to the cells. Second, every substance the body produces is needed by the body and is good for the body. If a substance the body produces ends up doing something bad, it's because we've done something we shouldn't have to make it turn out that way. It's common for LDL to rise when in ketosis. In fact, when in ketosis, it's common for LDL to rise to levels that concern your doctor. Ignore the doctors. Not only do most of them have completely antiquated, misinformed views about LDL, but 99.9% .9 of doctors are dumb as a rock about ketosis. Now to the core issue. Why does LDL rise when in ketosis? The defining attribute of ketosis is the body stops using carbs for energy and switches to using exclusively ketones and fatty acids. 
Ketones have no effect on your LDL level because they're released directly into the blood by the liver. The liver also processes and releases the fatty acids your cell uses for energy, triglycerides. Triglycerides are a storehouse of energy. As such, triglycerides are either oxidized within the cells for energy or stored in your fat cells. When not in ketosis, your body is using primarily carbs for energy and there's little use for triglycerides. But when the body is in ketosis using only ketones and fatty acids for energy, the needs of the 100 trillion cells in your body for triglycerides increases dramatically. But triglycerides are hydrophobic, meaning they don't play well in water. Since our blood plasma is 92% water, obviously triglycerides and blood don't mix. While triglycerides and water don't get along, triglycerides are still delivered to the cells through the bloodstream. So there has to be a mechanism by which to accomplish that. And there is, because the body's good like that. Imagine it's about to start raining and you don't want to get wet. Sort of how triglycerides don't want to get wet. So you flag down a taxi to drive you to your destination rather than walking and getting wet. You flagging down the taxi is the triglyceride. The taxi is the LDL. Just as you are protected from the rain while inside the taxi, so the triglyceride is protected from the water in the blood when traveling inside the LDL particle. Pretty cool, huh? Since there are no scientific studies determining precisely how many more triglycerides travel from the liver to the 100 trillion cells of your body when in ketosis, we have to use a hypothetical number to illustrate the point. Let's say that on the standard American diet, each cell uses 10 triglyceride molecules a day for energy. The cell only needs 10 because the majority of its energy is coming from glucose. But in ketosis, because that same cell is no longer using glucose for energy, it now needs 50 triglyceride molecules a day for energy. That's a five-fold increase in the number of triglycerides. But remember, those triglyceride molecules can't travel from the liver to the cells through the water-based blood without taxis to transport them and keep them dry. Let's do some simple math. Let's say a single taxi, an LDL particle, can carry five triglyceride molecules. In this example, on the standard American diet, a cell needs 10 triglyceride molecules. Accordingly, we need two taxis, two LDL particles, to transport the 10 triglyceride molecules from the liver to the cell. But if in ketosis that same cell needs 50 triglyceride molecules to meet its energy needs, then we'd need 10 taxis or 10 LDL particles to get those 50 triglyceride molecules from the liver to the cell. So in our example, that means when in ketosis, the body needs five-fold increase in the number of taxis or a five-fold increase in the number of LDL particles. As I mentioned, there is no research establishing exactly how much more triglycerides each cell needs when in ketosis. So the five-fold increase I use in the example is merely for illustrative purposes, but you get the point. If the cells need significantly more triglyceride molecules, then there has to be more LDL particles to get the triglycerides from the liver to the cells. In other words, there is nothing wrong, bad, harmful, or even unexpected about one's LDL level being higher when in ketosis than it may have been pre-keto. Why do some people say their LDL went down on keto? In most cases, they're not really doing keto. My estimate is only about 10 to 15% of people who say they're doing keto really are. After all, keto is a big buzzword right now, so it's cool to say one is doing keto, but that doesn't mean it's factual. The unfortunate truth is that in most cases, when someone says they're doing keto, either they're not in ketosis or they're not getting anywhere near 50% fat intake, which is one of the defining elements of actually doing keto, or they're getting most of their dietary fat in the unsaturated forms, which is super unhealthy, but it will drop your LDL count. While I want to turn this video into an in-depth examination of LDL generally, that's for another video, I will say that doing keto right by maintaining 80% fat in your diet and having most of that be from saturated fat, research has proven that will change your LDL particles from small and denser to large and fluffier, which is exactly where you want your LDL particles to be for excellent heart health. So what's the takeaway from all this? The takeaway is simple. If your LDL count rose when you went into ketosis, you're doing it right. And no matter what your doctor says, high LDL when in ketosis is completely healthy and normal. Isn't it cool when you know more about the science of what's going on within your body than your doctor does? Thanks for spending time with me today. Please subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button below. Also, don't keep this good stuff all to yourself. Share the hell out of this video with others. It's been a pleasure. Until we speak again, keto on.